Hey guys, what's up? Um, just wanted to tell you that, you know, things for me aren't going the way they seem. But that doesn't mean I won't I won't stop producing videos. What it means that I'm gonna, you know, <clears throat> do my videos on certain topics. And if you don't like it, I don't care, you know. <clears throat> it's my YouTube channel, I can do whatever I want. Second of all, there are things that I'm still there, I'm still in need of to discuss, you know, for one topic. Parenting. Okay? Can you choose your own parents? No, you can't. Can you, uh, you know, can you hate your parents? Yeah, of course. There's nothing in the Bible that says you can't hate your parents. But you have to respect them. Why? Because it's in the Bible. God said so. That you have to, you know, uh, how, do, how does it go again? I haven't read the Bible in ages, so, yeah. <clears throat> it goes, um, Honor thy mother and thy father, and I shall grant you uh, long days on this earth. Something like that. I haven't read the Bible in ages. So, yeah, criticize all you want. I don't care. I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm saying that. Okay, but, <clears throat> yeah, you're saying to yourself, Oh, how can you call yourself a Christian if you haven't read the Bible? I haven't read the Bible because I don't have time. But I'm willing to make time for God. Okay? I'm willing. I'm really willing to make time. Yeah, sorry about the noise. Um... As you can see or as you can hear, I live near the airport. Yeah, it's a big deal. Um, for me anyways. Uh, back to the topic. I was basically, I was raised as a Christian since I was six years old by my mother. Was it shoved down my throat? No, I was influenced by my mother. I was taught by her to be a good Christian, you know, not swear, not cuss, anything like that. But yeah, some, some words get out and I have rage. Yeah, okay, I have rage, but it's all pent up, and I let it go, you know, in my writing, and what I do normally, day-to-day -day basis, and sometimes my emotions get the best of me, who, the, who whose emotions don't get the best of them, hey, let me hear it, you know, but in other, in other, in other, you know, in another, in another, oh, shit, I'm starting too much, uh, um, sorry about the word, but like I said, I'm a Christian, I go to church, but the thing is, I don't read the Bible as much as I should. I know I should read the Bible as much as I should. But the thing is, I'm busy. I'm super busy with school. I'm super busy with finding a job. Yes, I go to school part-time. Uh, this is this is one of the reasons why I haven't uploaded a video, a good content video in the past several days. You know, so, I mean, all of you that look at my videos, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys for letting me get my views, for, you know, for letting me, you know, be myself and who I am. You know, for those of you that have questions for me, hey, ask away. I'm not afraid to ask, answer them. You know, ask me anything you want. I'll answer it. Uh, truthfully and honestly, I'm not going to. Yeah, hey, guys. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, my batteries went dead. Yeah. Here they are. Yeah, these are my batteries that I'm using. Yeah, I know cheap, right? Um, <clears throat> so anyways, like I was saying, uh, my mom influenced me to go into Christianity, look for God. And, you know, I don't blame him for anything instead I'm grateful for being alive uh, and to tell you guys something uh, that I want to get off my chest right now I'm disabled uh, you guys may wonder what's your disability uh, I'll you know uh, I'll let you guys you know think about that for you know for yourselves I'm not gonna tell you guys immediately but I yes I am disabled and that's why I have uh, I go to school part time and I'm looking for a job. Yeah. And it's really hard for me to find one. You know, many of you say, Oh, it's really hard for all of us. What makes you so special? Yeah, what makes me different is that you guys can get hired. You guys don't have a uh, disability that stops you from uh, you know getting a job just one look at you and uh, they'll hire you why because you have you know the physical capability that I don't yeah so you may wonder to yourself what's your physical limit I'm not gonna tell you like I said before but anyways um, you know I'm getting off topic here uh, back to parenting um, you know you can't choose your parents you can you can hate them you can say oh I hate you you know like that little kid stuff you know when you grow up to be a parent and you're a parent right now you know for some of you like who are what uh, 21 22 and you're already a parent um, you know and your kids like three years old and your kid wants to do something and you don't let them okay great and your and your son or your daughter says I hate you dad I hate you I hate you so much you know I hate you I hate you daddy I hate you you know that kind of crap and um, you know for me if you guys wonder if I have any kids no I don't I don't have any kids at all um, 
as I was saying, it really, you know, it really goes someplace where, you know, that kind of word can go someplace that you don't want it to go. And your kids can end up hating you, I don't know for how long, but they're kids. So yeah, like I said, you can't choose your parents. And I know some of you say, oh, uh, what do you know about parenting? I, I don't know shit. Why? Oh, sorry about the word again. See, <laughs> that's why. Um, the parenting thing, uh, you know, it, it's on so many different levels and it's really different okay so i mean for me to be a parent i'm not going to raise my kids the way my father raised me or my mother well my mother did a good job raising me because basically it was just her that's it it wasn't anyone else but her um basically why because my dad was uh was a lo uh, was a loser as a father he was a failure but i can guarantee you guys i'm not going to make those mistakes uh, and many of you say, oh, what happens if you do? Oh, what happens if I do? Yeah. Hey guys, sorry I lost the, uh, I lost the feed on, on the last video. But, like I was saying, uh, you can't really choose your parents. But, you know, I one time I gave advice to this, uh, to one of my, to one of my ex-girlfriends that her mom was hitting her and I said, uh, I talked to the mother. And she basically got mad at me. She, she raised her voice at me and I said, you know, if you don't want your daughter resenting you for the rest of your life, treat her right listen to what she has to say she's going through things that you didn't go through as a kid and listen to her and off of that when she's done talking give her advice you know that's one thing my dad never did for me as a kid I never came to my dad I said I never said to him I want to go to college I want a career I didn't say that so here's the thing now my dad is like 50 something and I'm old enough to realize what's good what's wrong and uh, what to do in situations so now my dad is asking me for forgiveness he's asking me to forgive him yeah we're all humans we all make mistakes nobody is perfect get over it um, I say to myself should I forgive him then uh, you know I realized you can't pick your own mother and father you're stuck with them you know, unless something happens where they give you up for adoption and they say, oh, we can't raise you, we don't have enough to raise you. Hey, that's coming from the heart. That means that, that it doesn't mean that they don't love you. It just means that they want better for you. I know many of you say, oh, what is? what do you know? What do you, uh, what do you know about being adopted? I know nothing. Why? Because I'm not adopted. But in all fairness i've i've been with people that have been adopted i've hung out with them that they've been adopted and they tell me that it hurts that they want to know who their real mother and father is and it hurts it really does i don't know what to say you know and this goes out to all the people that say oh being adopted is is, is weird yeah and they tell you when you're where um who your real who your real mother and father is but yeah like many people you set out to find who they are but you find out, but it's too late. Yeah, they're gone in some cases, and other cases they don't want you. In other cases they say, oh, I gave you up because this and this and that. And you're like, oh, that's that's real, that's real nice, nice meeting you, you know. And you go back to your family, and when, and when you find out, uh, you know, you go back to your adopted family. And once you find out, you say, I wish I'd never met them, that kind of thing. And uh, it really sucks. It really does suck. So, here's my point. Uh, parents be good to your kids don't make them resent you don't make them hate you because why because you're stuck with your kids unless you give them up for adoption oh yeah and I'm against abortion yeah I'm against abortion those who aren't against abortion are for it think about what you are saying to yourself I'm for abortion think about it think about those words you're saying think about saying I'm for abortion think about those words I'm against it why because it's a killing of an innocent baby yet to be born it's a sin okay it's a sin me what do I know about sin I know a bunch why because I've sinned but I'm not perfect neither are you so parents be good to your kids give them advice you know don't let your kids grow up in the messed up world like we live in right now don't let them and don't let anything bad influence them because if you do you'll end up regretting it why because you see your son behind bars or daughter behind bars or turn into a lesbian or be a homo sexual yeah be gay okay because the choices that parents make with their kids are going to impact the kids for the rest of their lives if they witness parents arguing then the child will interpret that as being fair 
Why? Because the child is so impressionable. Five, six, seven, or eight years old, impressionable, and thinks, you know, why do mommy and daddy fight so much? That, yeah. They ask themselves that. And when I was 16 years old, my own father asked me for money. Should that, ha should that be allowed? Should that happen to me? I mean, how many fathers out there have asked their own kid for money? How many of you fathers have taken it from your own kid without asking? Hmm? And how many kids have willingly helped their own fathers in a time of in a time of distress or in a time that they haven't worked? How many of you? This goes out to all the parents that have wonderful kids now and that have raised them right. But to the parents that have kids that don't do shit for them, yeah I said it, shit, that don't do shit for them, think about how you raised your son. Think about how you raised your daughter to be. Okay, think about it. Me, I was raised in a hellhole with my father and my mother. I was raised in hell by my father. I was raised tough. I was shown tough love. I was never given, I love you son, I'm proud of you son, keep going. Instead, my mother cheered me on. That's the truth. My mother cheered me on. Okay? My mother alone cheered me on. Nobody else. Not my cousins. Not my father. Not my brothers. Not even my own sister. Yes, I have a sister. Do I want to meet her? No. Okay? Peace.